Well, see what I got here. It's ESP12 modules straight from China, from Banggood. And I need to run this in a minimal configuration with as little external components as possible and as little power as I can master. So I will have to see if they're any good because there were a lot of uh, complaints on the forums about them being fake or not working at all. And well, there's only one way to find out. Let's have a go. First of all, I really quickly uh, connect my transmit and receive pins. We'll need those later. But what you really need is plus 3.3 volts on the VCC and a ground connection. And we'll just have a look if the module already uh, draws any current in that configuration. I'll just wire that up quickly and see if it uh, already fires up, which it doesn't because it's still in power down mode. So we got to connect this chip power down connection to five volts. And there we go, we got 30 milliamps. Now let's check if it uh, gives us any output on the serial console already. And as a matter of fact, it does, but it seems to be in the wrong boot mode. This is to boot from a SD card, which I don't think anyone's ever tried before, but uh, to get in the proper boot mode, we need to connect GPIO 15 to ground. That will make it boot from the, uh, from the flash memory. So we connect GPIO 15 to ground and see what we get on the serial console. This looks like we got a running firmware and it looks like AT firmware. So let's give it a reset command and the module starts up again. Uh, we can make it do more stuff like set it into a station mode. Station mode right there. And in that mode, we can uh, query a list of access points it can see. Yep, this looks like home to me. So this is our minimum configuration for running the module, but I don't care much about the AT software. I want to flash new software. So we need to connect GPIO 0, which is for some odd reason labeled GPIO 6 on this module to ground and get into firmware update mode. And if we take out this GPIO 6 wire, fired it up again after the flashing, we're in Lua, Node MCU software, which is my favorite software. And as expected, we have a lot of free file system space on this, uh, like three and a half megabytes. A uh, quick word about connecting the serial converter. Uh, nothing special about it. Receive to transmit, transmit to receive pins. And of course, we must not forget the ground connection um, for a common ground between the two systems. All right, that was it for the connecting, uh, for connecting the ESP12E module. Uh, if you want to know more about it, please subscribe to my channel, uh, give it a thumbs up and head over to my blog at www.areresearch.net. Thanks, bye.